In this pipeline tutorial, we will show you how to export animated characters from Maya for use in iClone. The first thing you need to do is launch Maya software and open your character to examine the rigs and the animations. Once you are done, just go to the File tab and choose Export All in order to include full animations with your character. Remember to always export as an FBX file in order to transfer into 3D Exchange 4. In the Export Settings, you will need to choose the Autodesk Media and Entertainment preset. Later, inside the Include section, you will need to select the Bake Animations in order to ingrain your animation keys from the rigs and into the character's bones. You will also have to select the Embed Media option to include all texture maps within the exported FBX file. This way, you don't have to find and restore the maps after conversion. At the end, you also need to select the Z-axis up since this is the standard used in iClone. When you're done, just click Export. Later, run 3D Exchange 4 and open the exported FBX file. Leave the default import settings and just click OK. When we import this figure from Maya, animations are also embedded in the FBX file. The imported animation can then be split into clips in 3D Exchange 4 and become perform commands for iClone 4. To do this, use the triangle markers on the bottom play bar or type mark in and mark out values to define the range of the clip. Then, click the add new clip button to add the animation to the clip list. You may repeat the process to add more animation clips or you can rename and delete later on. Later, press Convert to Character in order to convert into a non-human character. Then check the bone bounding size to make sure that the box size does not block adjacent bones, or to make sure that small bounding size can be selected later. Also, observe that the axis is pointed along the spine bone. In most cases, just select X. Once you are done, just export the figure and make sure that in the export options you include both all geometry and animation. Afterwards, just load the non-human character from the avatar tab inside iPhone 4. Now you can test the perform commands we just added in 3D Exchange 4. If you want to further customize your character, then you can do this inside iClone. Here, I will improve the visual quality with some small changes. I will try to adjust some material settings to give more of a chrome look to the character. Just adjust the specular color and glossiness. Then, I'll drop an image into its reflection, adjust some strength, and there you go.